In this video, I'm going to introduce a new feature uh, that's part of my Scale by Tools SketchUp extension. This is available in version 1.1.1. <laughs> it started off as version 1.1, but um, then I added this feature, and so that was a bit of an afterthought, <laughs> and it became 1.1.1. Anyways, you'll see it appear once it is um, approved in the extension warehouse and it's, it's actually a really cool feature. So previously the scale by tools allowed you to transform by image and by equations. So there's a power equation, there's a sine and cosine equation and then of course the same um, happens for or similar things happen for um, uh, faces and vertices. So now the new tool that you'll have is transform objects by attractors and the idea here is that you'll have some object that is close to other objects and you can actually have more than one of these objects attractors um, and then the scaling of the other objects will be determined by how close they are to this attractor. It's easier to show. So let me show you. Um, what we need here is one or more attractors and uh, the way that I've implemented this shows up right here when I do that you basically have to highlight all of the objects that you want to scale and then the attractors have to be named A. That's just a simple workaround but it, it works really well. So anyways, so I'm going to use the scale figure right here. Go to the entity info change her from Laura to A. Sorry, Laura. Um, and now I have that. And then, of course, I want to create a few more. So I'm going to use my uh, place tools. I'm going to put one there, one there, and one there. I don't know. So they could be closer to these. You could put one in the middle. Any of those work. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. And it, it doesn't have to be these. Um, scale figures, uh, especially when you do this in three-dimensional space, you may need something else, but they just have to be named A. That's all. So now I can highlight everything. Go to transform objects by attractors, right there. And now my options are again the same as the other tools. So uniform scaling, I'm just going to go with that for now. And I'm going to scale with a multiplier of two. Might be a little much, but we'll find out. Um, then attraction scaling. This is an interesting one because it has to do with um, closeness uh, to these objects. You know, the the closer, the more uh, pronounced the scaling, the further away, the less. So I'm just going to say 10 feet. Oops, no, it's not 10 feet. <laughs> and oh, by the way, um, whenever uh, the, the this um, dialog asks for distance, you can put in any kind of units. So if you're in meters, put in meters, whatever it is. But just spell it out and SketchUp will convert it for you. Then the attraction falloff. I'm just going to start linear and then I'll show you the rest. Um, and then attraction type is either decrease or increase. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. So click on OK. Ta-da! You get the point, right? So you see now um, all of these tools, scaling, motion, etc., etc., are um, linked to where these figures are. And then, of course, if you don't like it, you undo it and you just redo it. So, for example, my scale of 2 was a bit high, so I can lower that, get something that's a little more realistic. Um, then you saw that um, the boxes become smaller the closer they are to these attractors. This is because it says decrease here. If we switch that to increase, it's reversed. Everything gets larger the closer they are. So then if I go back to decrease and you'll see here my 10 foot. Well, actually, let me show you how this looks again. So this is how it looks with 10 feet. What that means is basically that, oops, just get both, although I don't want to double do it right here. What this means is that the scale factor, the multiplier, is reached at a 10 foot radius. So 10 feet away from this particular scale figure, all of these boxes have the size 1, or in other words, the mul scale multiplier 1. Um, and again, the multiplier could be a, a rotation or could be a displacement, but, but that's what what this means. So I'm just going to undo what I just did. 
I'm gonna switch this to let's say four feet. And you'll see what happens now at four feet radius everything will have that scale multiplier. So you can do some really cool stuff with that um, and of course you know if you don't like the outcome you can move these folks. Um, in terms of attraction type, wait let me switch this back to 10 feet, keep that there. Uh, linear is what I just had right here, it'll look like this and you'll Oh, where can we see it? Right here. You can see real nicely that you get a pretty linear um, scaling up to where now we're deforming based on this person. Um, sometimes you don't want that, sometimes you want it a little more pronounced, then you can do square. Square basically means that now we're creating these kind of parabolic increases away from the person just like that it goes right up and then goes right back down again um, maybe good maybe a little bit too much sometimes you want a bit more of a pillowy kind of um, uh, transition up here and that's where uh, the attraction fall off of root works really well and so then when it's when it's root you know it kind of smooths out and goes back down um, yeah. Make that a little more pronounced. Oh, it might be a little too much, but but you get the point here. So now we've got kind of this stuff happening. All right. So, oops. Uh, so those are basically the the options there. But then you can of course use um, all the other you know possibilities. You can only scale in blue, for example, which makes everything just taller. Um, you can rotate, rotate about blue. Now, of course, as before, this becomes an angle. So let's say 90. And now you've got all this happening. You can kind of see at an angle more what's happening here. Um, and then one thing that's really neat is you can actually deform too. And now, of course, this multiplier becomes a distance. And in the 1.1.1 <laughs> version of this extension, this distance can be entered as a distance. So you can say two feet or meters or whatever. Uh, in the 1.0 version, this had to be just a number. And did I do it right? We're good here. Okay. So now you can see here we're going up. And <clears throat> you can, of course, make that as dramatic as you like. Right there. So now you've got this thing where basically these figures are weighing down the the, the overall shape so you can get a little bit of a pillowy thing happening and you can use it for something like that of course anyways so that's in a nutshell transform objects by attractors um, and I hope you find it useful um, and I'm curious what kind of designs you come up with uh, whether it's this tool or of course changing by image or any of the equations so I hope you like this um, and let me know if you run into any trouble, um, otherwise enjoy. <laughs>